Hello, my dears, my ninth graders. Welcome again to this lesson. Um, in this lesson, uh, we will finish grammar worksheet two. So this is the last part for grammar worksheet two. Uh, as I said, we introduced the grammar worksheet two by uh, talking about countable, uncountable nouns. Then we moved on to talk about quantifiers, little, a little, a few, a few, and a lot of. Now, in this lesson, we will finish the last part for grammar worksheet two and talking about or completing, talking about quantifiers and in particular some and any. Now, if you remember, we introduced them before and we talked about some and any that we use them uh, before the countable and uncountable nouns and we introduce some examples of them. Now, here in this lesson, we will focus a lot on them and talk about the cases that they came in the sentence. So follow up with me, please. Some and any. Number one, we use some and any before plural countable nouns and uncountable nouns to talk about an indefinite quantity or number. Again, the same thing that we talked about. Some any, we use them before plural countable nouns, the countable nouns, the plural countable nouns, and uncountable nouns. Why do we use them or what is the goal behind using them to talk about indefinite quantity or number, that number of things or quantity of things that we didn't know the exact number of them. As you can see in these examples, number one, I have some money. Here you have the noun money. It's uncountable. We use some. Can we use any here? Now we said that it's for uncountable and countable nouns, but you will see that here only we can use some not any and i will tell you why number two i have some plants here we have the noun plants and it is a plural countable noun so we can use some number three i don't have any money now you can see the difference between one and the three one is affirmative sentence but three it's yes negative sentence because of that we use any for three i don't have any money Number four, I don't have any plants. Again, plants is plural countable noun, and with it we use here any. Number two, we usually use some in affirmative sentences and any in negative sentences and the questions. Now, we said both of them, some and any, we use them for countable, uncountable nouns. But some we use it in affirmative sentence. In the affirmative sentence, it means the sentence that doesn't have negation. And any, we use it for negative sentences and the questions. So, number one, there are some messages for you. Now, here we have affirmative sentence. And because of that, we use with messages some. Number two, there aren't any messages for you. The difference is that the second sentence is negative or negation. We have negation. So for the negative sentence, what do we use? Some or any? Yes, any. Number three, is there any milk in the fridge? Here you have a question and four questions. If it is yes or no question. Uh, yes, or a question like this form that you can see. Is there any milk in the fridge? It is a question. Because of that, we use what any. We can't use some for question. So here, if you have affirmative sentence, you should use some. If you have negative and the question, you should use any. Now, in this exercise, you will complete with some or any. Number one. I can't see cars in the street, but I can see people. Now, the first part, I can't see cars. Is it negative sentence, affirmative sentence, or a question? Think about this. I can't see. Of course, it is negative sentence. So, because of that, the answer should be any. Now, but I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. It's affirmative sentence. So, the answer should be some. So can't, negative, can, affirmative. It's easy. Number two, she can't buy it because she hasn't got money, hasn't got, she hasn't got, sentence. Negative or affirmative, of course, it is a negative sentence, so the answer should be any. Number three, is there water in the jug? There isn't. Here we have a question. For the question, we use any 
Now the answer, there isn't Z negative or affirmative. Yes, we have negation, isn't. So the answer should be any. Number four, we are writing letters to Germany. Here we have affirmative sentence. We are writing, not we are not writing. We are writing, so we use some. Number five, I've got posters, but I haven't got pictures. I've got, it's the abbreviation of I have got. So, affirmative sentence, the answer should be some. But I haven't got negation or negative sentence, we add any. The last one, I want fresh eggs, have you got? Okay, I want fresh eggs, I want some or I want any. Affirmative sentence, yes, I want some. Have you got any or have you got some? The correct answer, have you got any? So, by this uh, easy exercise, we finish the grammar worksheet too. And the last the quantifiers we talked about uh, were some and any. So, you should study this lesson carefully and correctly and be careful to study the whole information I gave you in this uh, video. Uh, so study well and I hope to see you soon inshallah thank you bye bye